Hi Flosstube, it's Lorna, the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Sunday the 19th of November and I'm here with my update for the last two weeks. I hope everyone's had a good couple of a couple of weeks. Um, I've had I've done a little bit of stitching, not very much. Um, we just got back from Melbourne. We went on a two-night cruise and two nights in Melbourne, um, which was really fun. But I'm, now I'm just catching up on a few things. I didn't get much stitching done while I was in Melbourne, which I will tell you why a bit later on. Um, I've, I do have the washing machine on just behind me, in the room behind me. It's only got about five, ten minutes to go, so it shouldn't take too long to finish. Um, but if you can hear it, that's if you can hear the motor, that's, that's what it is. So I'm really sorry about that. I've just really got to catch up. Um, I have one finish and that was London Bus by Chatelaine, which this is the um, computer generated image from Martina of Chatelaine. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. So all I did was put in the crystals which were missing. I received those this week and put them in. And there they are. And I'm very happy with it. I've decided I'm going to make it into a card. Thank you for everyone's suggestions on what to do with it. Um, an ornament would be would have been a great idea. But just thinking about what my dad... It is for my dad. He... Um, the way he decorates for Christmas is he's got a little Christmas tree. He puts it up and that's it. It's, it's not really decorated. It's just put up in a corner. So... Um, I've decided to make that into a card, so that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully next time I show it to you, it will be fully finished. So that was the first thing. I also took, these are in no particular order, but I took with me um, to Melbourne, Dreaming of Tuscany, which will look like this when it finishes, when it's finished. And it's a gold collection petites. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. So I haven't done much. I only worked on this region a little bit. Um, and I worked on it while we were on the cruise for probably half an hour and then I got bored. I, I mentioned last time that my goal was to finish this one as well as one other one that I've had going for a while and then start something new. And I've decided that that's not going to happen. Um, I worked on this one as much as I could and I just couldn't work any longer. Not because I couldn't see it or anything like that. It was just, I, I was just losing my stitchy bug working on this. So I'm, I'm still going to keep it. I'm going to work on it here and there. But having that, having that in my head that I've got to finish it before I start something new was just killing it off for me. So I've decided that... Um, I would it will just get finished whenever and if ever um, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably start something new next month but we'll see what happens but yeah um, so while I love the design it's just not keeping me interested enough to have that goal looming over my head at the moment so I've decided I'm not going to worry about the goal I set for myself last in my last video and it will just get worked on whenever. So that's that one. Another one I pulled out was Juliet by Children Crafts. And here is what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's what it, where it is now. So I didn't get much done. I only managed one column, but it's still progress. There was a stitch-a-thon um, on cross-stitch finish line, which I will link below. So um, yeah, I participated in that and managed to get one column done on this. Um, I think it probably took me until Tuesday to finish the column. 
Tuesday morning, I think, and the stitchathon was only for the weekend. So I did my 500 stitches for the stitchathon, and then yeah, we just had a really busy weekend. Um, it's getting to that time of year where we're just constantly busy. We've got something on every single weekend until the end of the year now. So yeah, it's just Christmas and summer, and um, yeah, it's just getting busy. So stitching probably take a little bit of a hit for me, but. Um, I've still got the rest of the week when my daughter isn't um, needing me so much so when she's asleep or at preschool or things like that but yeah anyway Juliet um, I'm still really enjoying this one so that's that's where it is right now um, I do want to finish this page by the rest of by the end of the year I would love to do that um, this is page six so it's page one two three and four up here I've skipped page five for now I'll go back to it probably when I've done these four pages. Um, so these, this is the first three pages, three columns of page six. And I really would like to finish that by the end of the year, but we'll see how we go. Like I said, busy. Um, but yeah, still really enjoying that one. And this is Mervember, like I've mentioned many times in the past, um, and I will link the details of that below. Um, but I am working on Mirabilia's Emerald Mermaid. It is a Mirabilia group, so it is only Mirabilia mermaids that are allowed. Or Nora Corbett mermaids, if she's got any. But, um, like, if she's got any that aren't Mirabilia. But this one's Emerald Mermaid, which is probably, I think, the only mermaid in my collection by Mirabilia. Um... And that's what she'll look like when she's finished. Here's what it looked like the last time I showed you. And here it is now. So I have completely finished her skin. And um, I've started on the green. But I've decided that I'll probably move on to the hair now. Um, and I'll try and finish that off before I move on to her outfit or her dress or tails or whatever. Um, I The reason for that is because she's got, may, most of her back stitching is in the facial features and her skin and I need to do the hair before I can move on to the back stitch and I really would like to have that done before I um leave her like put her away for a while so i my plan is to work on this for the rest of the month probably changing to something else on on the last weekend of the month um just just to give myself a break but yeah still really enjoying her and oh this is being worked on um 32 count Jobelin in Summer Sky by Wishelt. Yeah, I'm really yeah, I am enjoying her. I wasn't at first, but now that I'm seeing the 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 um outline come out, it's I am really enjoying it. So that's it for whips this month. Um, I only worked on four things. Now for a little bit of um, purchases, Color Cascade Fabrics had a studio session sale. And what you do basically is, well, what happens is Tammy from Colour Cascades puts up on Facebook a picture of any um, pieces of fabric that are either mist dyes or have, um, were off cuts or things like that. Um, and she puts them up for um, a cheaper price than what they would normally have gone for. And you comment on the picture and if your name comes up, then you have the right to purchase it. So I had the right to purchase this one. It is, it looks like, um, may have been a mist dye because of that in the middle, but I think that's, I, I like that. So I don't mind that at all. Um, it is a 32 count Lugana, but um, it doesn't say what the, what it was supposed to have been. So yeah, it may have just been a, a pink ice dye, but. It's beautiful so I'm really happy with that that is a fat quarter so I might be able to finish to fit a small mirabilia on that one yeah, that. Mm. 
I also got the crystals for London bus, which you've seen. And the other thing I found, I found it on Facebook. Um, no, not on Facebook, on eBay. A copy of Summer Queen by Mirabilia. And this was someone in Australia selling this off. It doesn't have the the casing like the others do, but it so it just came with the picture and the chart. So um, yeah, but that's Summer Queen there. And I already have Spring Queen, which I believe is now out of print. And I'm very happy to have that because I, I think it's beautiful. And when I bought it, I said to myself, I don't mind about, I don't really need the others. I don't think I'll be stitching all of them. But now that I'm finding that I think Autumn Queen is also out of print, I want to get my hands on all of them in case they all go out of print. So I have Summer Queen. Autumn Queen is on its way. I found a copy um, at, um, I just had to sneeze, so I paused. Um, anyway, so I have Spring Queen in my stash. That is Summer Queen. Autumn Queen is out of print, but I found it at Victoria House Needleworks. They had one cop, I believe it was only one copy left. Um, if you're interested, you can, you're more than welcome to try and ask them if they've got another one. Um, but that is on its way to me and I should receive it this week. And um, the other one, Winter Queen, is I've ordered that one from Stitching Bits and Bobs and they haven't sent it yet, but um, I should receive it soon, hopefully. So that is it for purchases this month or this, these last couple of weeks. I do have quite a bit on the way, actually, so I haven't been as good as I would have liked. But, um, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, um, plans for the rest of the month and the first uh, and the start of December. I will work on Emerald Mermaid for the weekdays left in the month and possibly today because I've had four days where I haven't worked on her or five days where I haven't worked on her. So um, in December, I want to finish Happily Ever After, which is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along for the, month, for the year of 2017. The last little bit should be released very well on the 2nd of December and as soon as that's released I'll be able to finish it off. So that's all I've got left to do. I can't physically move on because I don't have any more of the pattern left. So hopefully I'll be able to finish that um, very early on in December. I think I will work on Juliet probably next weekend I think. Um, although we do have a busy weekend as well. Um, but like I said, it's, it's just a busy time of year. Um, and then in December, I'll probably work on Juliet a bit more. Um, my previous goal was just to work on her every one weekend a month. But um, I really do want to finish that page. And just having another weekend in the year, it's not going to manage that. So I'm just going to keep working on her. And probably until I finish that page. I would like to pick up, actually... Um, Cinderella on the stairs, which is another one of my Hades or full coverage pieces. Um, and it is, um, it is a mini. And what I've done is while I was working on the first, on the top row, I've actually, um, parked some of the stitches underneath and I really would like to clear those, but, um, whether I'm going to have time in the rest of the year, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, for 2018, I just wanted to mention um, Catherine from Kate's Crafting Corner and Vicky from Reading and Stitching, and I will link their, their channels below. They have put together a Jane Austen Reading and Stitching Along and Stitch Along um, group on Facebook. And what they're doing is reading one book of Jane Austen's per two months, I think, and stitching on a Jane Austen themed piece. Um, throughout the year for 2018 so I've joined that because um, Jane Austen's is probably one of my favorite authors or the favorite author of mine and I think they're starting with Sense and Sensibility I have read most of Jane Austen's books um, I think there's only a couple that I haven't read and they're the ones that um, people hardly know about the you know the the minor ones I call them um, but yeah Sense and Sensibility is 
one that I have read a couple of times. I, I am planning to reread it. And what I'm planning to do for that one, for that stretch along, is this one by Brooks Books. It is Jane Austen at the Christmas Ball, and I have the embellishment pack for that one, which includes the perforated paper that you need and the beads. Um, I think you also, yeah, you also need DMC, which I should have in my stash, and some Chronic, which I will get. Um, there's also Toho. Oh, that should, sorry, that, yeah, that should, they should all be in, in this. So, yeah, the Chronic isn't included. So I'll have to get my hands on those. Krennics, um, there's three different Krennics that you need. And the rest is DMC, which I have already in my stash. So yeah, I'll be working on that one next year. That's part of my plans. Um, and like I said, in my last video, I mentioned that I wanted to finish Dreaming of Tuscany, which I've just shown you. And... Um, Boy King or Tutankhamen by Jan Janlin and I wanted to finish those before I start anything new that's not going to happen anymore I'm um, just working on Dreaming of Tuscany for a little while was starting to kill my stitchy bug whether it was because I had that goal in mind or because I'm just not enjoying it I don't know but I've decided that it's just not worth it um, it's not a piece that I plan to display I do like it but I don't think I, I'll I've got anywhere to display it really um, it doesn't really suit this house and yeah I, I really just want to finish it just so I can say it's it's off the books it's a finish but I don't want it to kill my stitchy bugs so whether it gets finished or not um, I would like to finish it next year but um, it'll just get done when it gets done same with boy king um, that still is a whip of mine and you know, if it comes up in sales or if I just get the urge to work on it, I will. But um, I'm not going to let it kill my stitchy bug either. And I've decided that the ones that I want to start, I think I probably will. Um, probably not this month. Maybe I'll start next month or in the new year. Life's too short. I've, I've, de I've just decided that, you know, they're in my stash. They're not sitting, they're not doing anything sitting in my stash other than gathering probably dust. They're out of dust way but still um it's not good for anyone just to have them lying around so I'm, I'm planning to start them just whenever I can um and make the most of them because who knows how long we all have left right um now as far as reading goes I haven't finished any books I've started quite a few and couldn't get into them I think I had the same problem last in my last video so I picked out um, one of my favourites, um, which is a classic, and it's currently fall falling apart. I've had this book for a long, long time. It is um, House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. She's an American author, or she was an American author. Um, I think she was influenced by Henry James, who is also another one of my favourites. And I read this book many, many years ago. I have the movie, which was not that popular, I don't think. It has um, it has Gillian Anderson from The X-Files in it, but I don't think it was all that popular as a movie. I've got it on VHS, so I hardly ever see it because our video isn't all that good. <laughs> um, you know, most things are on DVD or digital now. So, yeah, um, I love this book. I love the story. Um... So I should, I was I was reading that mainly on the cruise that we went on, and I've, I'm about halfway. So yeah, um, and that's that's it. I think that's all I've got to show you. Um, thank you everyone for commenting on my last videos. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Happy stitching, everyone. Bye.